Hi everyone, uh, Connie here. Um, I've been asked to do a little review on the Caran d'Ache um, Neo Color 2 Water Soluble Crayons. So I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration. I love these crayons. They're my favourite new mixed media art tool. Um, I have, I went out and bought a 40 pack. 40 pack, 40 pack is about $100. But you can buy them singly for about $2.40 each. So the 40 pack I found was gave me a pretty decent colour range to start me off. And these are a couple of the extra ones I've been purchasing to add to my collection. I'm still yet to work out a way how I want to store them. So if anyone's got any ideas, that will be great. So... I'll show you how they work. I'll just use this. Um, this is ice blue, this colour. We'll use ice blue. So you need to use a watercolour paper because you activate the crayon with water. So this is a Canson watercolour. This is a cold press, so this has a bit of texture to it. You can get the hot press so it'll be smooth. This is the cold press. Okay, so they're quite easy to use. It's just a matter of putting down the crayon, getting a watercolour brush with the water, and just scrub it out until you get the effect that you want. The more water you, you use, the less the pigment colour. I lay down a lot of the Neo Crayon. Let me brush. You can see how bright the colour can be with just adding that little bit of less water to it. I recommend using watercolour paper because it just it won't leave any lines like a crayon line like this and um, it just blends a lot easier. I'll show you a sample. This is my art journal my current one at the moment. So we'll get a different colour. We'll get, we'll get um, I don't know, I'll get that one. We'll get a purple. Okay. So this this is a non gessoed surface. So if I was to do the same thing, you can you'll be able to see the difference with the watercolour, the way it reacts. See how it does. A bit dirty. See how it doesn't um, flow as easy, and you're left with lines. It doesn't give you that nice flow of the colour as we did on the watercolour paper. But if I gesso it, let's give it a quick gesso. Gesso it, just wipe my hands. Use the heat gun. And then do the same thing. You can see it goes on that little bit nicer and it blends out much better using a gessoed surface. Okay, so um, 
that's my little review on them. I personally love them. I use them for a lot of things. I've been using them to um, do my girls. I've been using them to do the skin colour. Um, and I just love the way they blend. You can use pencils with them. Um, you can write over the top of them. I just think they're awesome. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.